in there. Uh, oh. Give us my drink, man. Yeah. Give us my drink. Thanks. Well, let's do it then. Okay, Motorhead, new record out. What the hell is going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if he said, oh, Motorhead, no record out. What the hell is going on? I would like it. We put a record out every year, you know. You should be used to it by now. Yeah. yeah what makes you guys so consistent, you know? Because we're stars. <laughs> uh, yeah, what makes we're professionals. Consistence? No, we, we do a we do a world tour and, and a record. It kind of runs on a routine thing, I would say. <laughs> no. well, you get we get bored of playing the same songs. So yeah, we, we have to reinvent ourselves every year, you know. Write some new stuff. Well, Besides time. which, we, I mean, you guys wouldn't be as confused if we didn't, would you? So we have, to, we have to keep you on your toes, you know. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> and this time it's truly a three piece. Three piece. Because yeah. the last one you still had words, so kind of. That's right. You out. You notice how that? Does, yeah. How, how do you feel to kind of go back to uh, to the roots? It's not back to the bloody roots. This is three different people. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. It's sacrifice. It, we were four, but we were three actually, because he didn't play very much on that album at all, and he did not contribute anything. Yeah. So already then it was a three piece. Sat around with his guitar across his knees and bitched, you yeah, know. Yeah, he was just on a picture. On the US release he wasn't, and on the European he was, I think. A picture Which is with bad Versa, really, he yeah. should have been on it because he was yeah. on the record, you know. But, but he didn't do much, so it was uh, already then a three piece. And, uh, you know. But now we're actually a five piece, but two guys left this morning. Yeah. Two girls. That happens. Two girls, yeah. But well, they were dressed as guys. There's going to be more girls tonight, <laughs> so we can kind of expand. Yeah, well, you never know. Maybe we'll recruit six more tonight, then. Yeah. Why not? The Motorhead Touring Review tomorrow and in Detroit, Glee Club. <laughs> we'll be eight-piece in Detroit tomorrow. Eight-piece? Yeah. Eight-ball. Eight-ball. Speedball's open. Yeah, with this new record, any particular tracks we should be aware of? Yeah, all of them. Uh, anything in, in particular that will really knock us out? Well, they all should if you got your yeah. head on right, you know. Yeah. I mean, we don't make bad records. Of course. <laughs> and you think lyrically? No, it's really, it's really hard to just pick one song out. But uh, um, you know, all the songs basically are, are Motorhead, you know. Mm -hmm. And if you are uh, afraid of loud, heavy music, then this then is not you. Fear tonight's little event, you know. <laughs> also, if you're the mother of a 16 to 20 year old girl, you should watch out for that too. If she's home late, we've got her. She's on the bus. Yeah. Okay, this is uh, also second record for uh, the same label in the US. How did you manage that? Yeah, that is we actually didn't manage quite that. Ama amazing. Yeah. <laughs> How did they manage that? They, they played fair by us. Yeah. Okay. They, actually, what they did, they did their job. That's are all they did. They're still doing it. Yeah. And still doing it. That's, we, we're as amazed as you are because we've been putting out records and uh, the label has not really come through at all. Most labels suck, you know. Yeah, they ask. These guys have really been doing right. I mean, they shipped the first record before we signed. Yeah. Which you don't get anymore. I mean, that's faith, you know. Let's have a bit of faith, but you don't get it anymore. So I was really impressed with that. No, I stray. Fuck him. So most likely you'll be doing another record with him? Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Possibly two, who knows? If everything continues... To, if the future is a closed book to yeah. us. We're not clairvoyant. We don't know. Yeah. Um, the, new, the title of the new record, Of Night Sensation. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit removed from the last two records. I mean, Bastard and Sacrifice, pretty... In your face titles. Well, it's a different record, see? Yeah. In what way? Well, it's New more songs. recent for a start. <laughs> Completely different songs. Uh, New cover. Back to the roots, you know. cover. <laughs> it's a green cover instead of... Back to the of, roots. Yeah, the roots. No, it's a kind of an irony, you know? Overnight it's a little joke, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we make a little joke, you. So... Blame me, you yourself uh, just turned 50, well publicized event by the way. Uh, Almost 51. 51. How does it feel to kind of rock at this age? Same as 49, but a year later. Uh -huh. Really? I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, what do you, what do you mark your birthdays with? It feels the same, doesn't it? It's you don't true. feel different. It's a fucking birthday. I mean, people buy your presents and shit, and all jump about and go, hey, happy birthday, you know, and it feels exactly the same. You don't know. So you still got a lot of fire. More than you, apparently. I'd have thought of better questions than this. <laughs> uh, speaking of your uh, persona, whenever I see you at the uh, like Tonight Show or any show, you basically, you know, steal the show. 
ever think of having your own show like that? It's only because the others are so bad, it isn't because I'm so good. Yeah. Oh, true? Because the others are all usually bloody dorks. I mean, who was that? Leave it to Beaver or somebody who was on Tonight Show. and That Edie, <laughs> Edie McClurg, she was yeah, funny. Okay. She was great. Me and her stole the show between us, eh? Yeah, I mean, whenever I see the show... And I the see others were like know. bystanders, weren't they? Yeah, <laughs> Onlookers. Like, I see the holes in the I'm like... They should just switch the seat, basically, yeah. and then... <laughs> he had that girl to mop his face, if you, I remember that. She stood behind his chair with a powder puff, and every time the camera went off, and she was like... Powder up your face, yeah. 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 Didn't uh, do mine, you know. You were doing that, that segment in that Hard and Heavy video, Ask Lemmy. Are you still get letters, people asking you about stuff? No. No? It's funny, though. That was funny. So, in other words, the new generation of listeners is not aware that you are also an advisor? No, they're just not aware of Hard and Heavy, that's all, because it came out ten years ago, you know. Uh, that's true. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do this discovery thing then. Uh, discovery? discovery? Yeah, well, you know, we'll give you the record, you talk about him. Just whatever you remember from that uh, period of time. Oh, shit. You know. Okay. Something should be entertaining, shouldn't it, boys and girls? My word. It'll bore you, but it'll be probably funny. So the first record the we have will begin yeah. with Hawkwind because the track Moorhead was on it. Yeah, well, you remember from it that wasn't record? on the original. It's on this edition of it. This is the one you used to get volume for money, see? Fold out sleeve. Mm -hmm. Of course it loses something in the CD. Moorhead's on this, is it? Yes, they put it on the last track on it on the original version was Kings of Speed. That was the last record I did with them. And you got the Moorhead. And also you had the On Parole. What's the the difference between the two, basically. They're two different bands, completely. Same songs, almost. Yeah. Well, we uh, we hadn't written any new ones. <laughs> <laughs> so release the same record, out. No, we just re-recorded yeah, all the same numbers. Except this has got four extra tracks on it, too. Five, five extra tracks. Yeah, that was all right. You know, we did all the backing tracks in two days. He gave us two days oh, okay. to do a single and we did 11 backing tracks with no vocals. So he had to get us another couple of days for us to do the vocals, so we got him. Yeah, Overkill. Well, that was all right. It was a good album, Overkill. Stay Clean's on that. Capricorn we wrote in 10 minutes because we didn't have enough tracks to go on the thing. It's also notable for Eddie. Eddie's solo on Capricorn was he was tuning up. Yeah, and, and he said, right, I'll have a go at it now. And Jimmy said, I got it. <laughs> Bomber. Bomber. That's a good album, too. I am the bad guy you've always had nightmares about. Blame me, blame my ass. Whatever it is, it was me. Mm -hmm. Except if it was sodomizing a young sheep. That's Phil's department. That's Phil's uh, department. <laughs> I see those. Well, let's say the big one. No, I'm sick of that thing. That was this wasn't the big one. Hammersmith was the big one. Of course. <laughs> this was only number four. Hammersmith was number one. It's a good ra good record, but it wasn't our best. It's your best one. Yeah. Well, I just said that, didn't I? You know. <laughs> no, so it's all Hammersh old. Oh, it's got all the pictures on here. Some good pictures on there. Look at this. Yeah. Once again, common sense and good taste prevail. Is that one of Clarky? Eagles on there too. Somewhere. Everybody's on there. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> a bunch of fucking lemons. That was in the DDR. Was that Phil? It's Captain oh. Taylor. Oh, no. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, some good pictures. But it's worth buying for the pictures. Actually. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's like uh, the vinyl had the pictures, now it's out on this. Where's that one with Clarkie? Can't find it. Oh, well, never mind. Good album, Man Smith. The end of an era. Iron Fist. <laughs> Iron Fist, the only one of our records I don't much like. How come? It's got a, about four songs on it that really should have been a lot better. One that shouldn't have been on it at all. But we won't talk about that right now. Another perfect day. Yeah, people didn't like it. They didn't like Brian, you know. That is strange, though. That's a good record. This it song. is. Yeah, it was good Brian. Songs. They didn't like Brian. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, well, it didn't go down How did Brian well. make his lane for the band? It was quite uh, unusual. Phil Taylor wanted him. 
because he was a thin lizzy, Phil Taylor's a thin lizzy freak. deadly thin lizzy freak. And I wasn't against it because Brian was great with Lizzie, you know, and he was great with us too, but he just put the wrong clothes on. People didn't like him, alienated people. Wearing shorts on stage at Hells Angels gig, you know. Pink satin shorts. No, green satin shorts. He coloured his hair all red too. Yeah, fucking Hells Angels are going, who's that kind we've done? <laughs> so he's a new guitar player. Oh, let's kill him. <laughs> you still in touch with him very much? No, yeah. I've heard from Robbo for ages. Actually, one of our mutual friends just died in England, I must call him. I'm I, supposed to call him. He's released a new record. Uh, he's got a new band. I, I don't know what it's called, but I know the, the record is out. Fucking I mean, Brian got fired from State Trooper, man. You can't get much lower than that. Yeah. And you got the compilation, but it also features a few new tracks, no mm. remorse, and kind of brings a new face of Motorhead. Yeah, that's a good album, too. I mean, as good as compilations are, you know. They didn't include... There's so the, many out there. There's, so many, there's too many out there, actually. Yeah. What Orgasm the hell is that? No, Orgasmatron. Definitely right? a new face of Motorhead. Think so? Yeah. Why? Motorhead of the 80s. Found me oh. a full, full length album with uh, two guitar players. The two chaps on it, yeah. Mm. That is a good record, though. Yeah, it could yeah, have been better, though. <laughs> Again, the production was... Production sucked, actually. Here again, I have a, another live record, Anniversary. Yeah, I tried to stop this, but we couldn't. Yeah, how come you have so many live records, especially from the 70s? It's, it's like... Well, because people got in there with the fucking tape recorder, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, but don't you have any control over... Uh... Over this, we tried to stop it, but we couldn't. Sometimes you have no control whatsoever. Yeah, when we don't control any of the bronze albums. All yeah. the bronze albums were bought by Castle, and they've released them three times already in compilations, yeah. They wait till you have a new record out, or going to release a new album. Then they release right yeah. with it, or right after. So you don't have any to write on the back on the new record. No. no, no. We still yeah. got the royalties for playing on them, you know. But yeah. that's it. Uh, rock and roll. That's the tour we met. Yeah, a lot of info on yeah, that one. Right. <laughs> See the 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 budgets going <laughs> down. Like. Yeah, no. <laughs> he wanted that picture. Just like a fucking Coleman. <laughs> oh man. That's the tour, we toured together, King Diamond. I was in King Diamond and <laughs> in Europe. State he really li liked that, I remember. Yeah, he liked that picture, yeah. Black and white minstrel show, eh? Why would he like that? Because <laughs> he's weird. Yeah, cool. yeah. He's so strange, see? Mind you, it's better than what he did before he joined the band, delivering yeah. frozen chickens. Yeah. Is that what he did? <laughs> yeah. We have another live record. No sleep at all. Yeah, that was all right. It didn't turn out as good as it could have. He's recorded in Finland, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not bad. And then uh, you made your label affair. Yeah, I know. The worst people I ever dealt with in my life. Great record, horrible label. Some great songs on this, actually. Mm -hmm. That's one of our better albums. And, uh, and for, my money, for <laughs> my money, this was another of our best albums. A lot of people don't like it, but I do. I think it's great. Cat Scratch Fever, better version than Ted Nugent. square Nugent. that record. Yeah, it's very square, see? Yeah. And, and that was the first record you joined the band, actually. Yeah, I, I still, I didn't play on this album. Oh, you played on one, didn't you? Yeah, on Hellraiser. But the album was done when I came in the band, so. Yeah, we had Tommy Aldridge play drums on that. Mm -hmm. mm, that's not new one, but... Now you can talk about one. these, Michael. Uh, Off yep. you go. Hey, yep. you, you, you can fully participate now. <laughs> It's for Michael to shine yeah, in his own. No, this is a very good album. I, yeah, it is. Bastards. Yeah. Too bad uh, CYX screwed up the release. Uh, in the States. It's hard to find this album. Um, it's a very good songs all over. But it's not impossible because he found it. Yeah. No, you can find it, so but it's hard. Be of good cheer, motor persons. Yeah. Go out and steal it from your local sh store. Sacrifice. Yes. I like that inside note you wrote there. <laughs> Oh, that right? I don't remember. Oh, yeah? What? Where? I think in the beginning of the record. First page. Yeah? That's it. One of those Lenny says. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Asbestos free, non toxic, harmless to pot, sincere, recyclably, individually wrapped sacrifice. 
Hordes of huge naked women, men and goats, will come around to your house and rub themselves all over you. One copy of Stone Resistance Sacrifice. That's a hard record. That's a good record. Very good. Did any of Too bad America have to uh, change the cover. Yeah. What did the European cover look like? It's supposed to be a dick in the mouth instead There's of a no, tongue. Yeah. They've still got the vulva in the back of it, though. They missed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah in the back. They never saw that. She's got a, she's got a fanny in the back, right? Girl's crotch. Uh -huh. And in the front used to be a dick, but America airbrushed it out because it was too strong for <laughs> American kids who can buy guns any time of the day, you know. To see a dick, you can't have that, right? No. They might shoot themselves in the dick, who knows? Why not? <laughs> and finally... Why not? Because it fucking hurts, that's why not. Yeah. It brings us to uh, the reality. Today's show. What happened to your mustache, by the way? What Burn, do you think happened to it? Burned up. Fairy stole it? <laughs> well, it's almost a trademark. Not anymore. <laughs> that takes care of that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Very good album, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Ecstatic you'll be. Good songs on this. Mickey says thanks to... Mr. Fluffenfold himself. Yes. There's no note spotlight. I can sacrifice, though, uh, from... Uh, there's no. Saying, uh, yeah, there is. It says blah happen. blah woof woof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phil didn't say anything on this. Did he? Yeah. I think he was asleep. The usual. Yeah, yeah the same old crap. All right. No, very good album. F Phil Gatemouth Campbell. I. Good production on this as well. The last three albums here has been very good uh, with Howard Benson. How would you are here now, Benson? Poking together some, uh, yeah, it's been good for us. So you guys been uh, in the U.S. for like, what, six years now, right? I live here for six years, nearly seven now. He just moved back to Sweden yeah. a year ago. I've been, I was in California for almost ten years, so nine you years. So enjoying America or you prefer Oh, yeah, both. I, th I like America better, but that's because I'm from Europe, you know. Americans like Europe better because they're from America, you know, it's the same thing. Let me, uh, what's the deal with, uh, with the army stuff? I see you were sporting like a, a German uniform from uh, yeah. World War. Um, well, they get the best uniforms. The bad guys always have the best uniforms. True. Look at Polish uniforms. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just don't work, does it? <laughs> you know, look at British uniforms for that matter. Them fellas in the Western Desert with them shorts on, they look like fucking suicidal <laughs> tendencies fans. Yeah. Well, I was surprised you weren't, you weren't sporting a British uniform. Why? I just got finished telling you they're terrible uniforms. Look like crap. The Germans had the best uniforms. The Confederates had the best uniforms. Napoleon had the best uniforms. The bad guys always have the best uniforms. So you're saying Saddam Hussein is really good? Uh, no, some no. bad guys don't, but most bad guys do. Saddam Hussein don't count anyway. He's not a real bad guy. So He's only a local bad guy. Uh. <laughs> Any uh, current uniforms you went on that you would like to? Get hold of. No, nah, they all dress like fucking bag ladies now, don't they? It's all them utility pocket stuff, you know. So basically they made Big pants and para boots, you know, and I've got no time for all that. Yeah. Phil wore some on the a sacrifice video. I mean, just take one look for at that. Video, you see yeah. why I can't wear them, you know. I like stuff that fits, you know. I always like clothes that fit. Call me old fashioned if you like, you know. I don't see dressing like a bag lady improves anything, really, you know. Speaking of fashion, how do you feel about all these uh, hip hop okay. people? I don't feel anything. I mean, uh, they got all these white pants and then uh, look like they're, they're walking in a bag. Good luck to them. <laughs> Not for me. Mind you, I don't like hip hop, you know. Maybe if I was doing a lot of hipping and hopping, I'd probably have to have wider <laughs> trousers, you know. <laughs> Oh, you sure? You didn't do no hipping and hopping. I want to see night. bungee jumping, right. like fashion coming. Yeah, there's a good. bungee jumping for you right there. Ah, she was a bungee jump, yeah. all right. And she brought the cords with her. Yeah. <laughs> That's the bomber right there. That's all the questions from Poland for today, is it? Yeah. yeah. This is for Polish. Once we, once uh, where are you from in Poland? Uh, Tarnów. Which is Where's that? That's the. That's the far side, isn't it? Is this for Polish TV or what? No, no, yeah, Polish. Like, Chicago Polish. TV. We played Katowice last time yeah, we were there. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Yeah. Nice place, isn't it? Katowice. Very, very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Never been there before. It was very nice. Good uh, fan reaction. Yeah. A lot of German yeah. buildings around Good there. Show. Very confusing. Oh, that's that's in the middle of, of uh, Silesia. Yeah, it used to be German, right? There's a lot of German minorities. Before that, it was Russian. It's a quite big town, yeah, actually. It's changed. 
but uh, it was always kind that of part of Europe changed all the bloody time. I mean, yeah. Poland moved 250 miles across the map at the end of the it world. It did. Uh, well, People don't know that, you know. You, you can Yugoslavia now. It's written in pencil. Oh <laughs> man, Re yeah. Re never, you, you never know. ID for the show. I, the I don't show. carry ID. I'm afraid. Well, we'll need one. Uh, it's called Mind Melt. Mind Melt. Right. Mind Melt. So uh, if you could look at the camera, just say, uh, you know. Yes, I can do that. All right. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. We are motorhead or two thirds of same. Yeah, one is asleep and we're sitting here. And we're asleep really, but yeah. we're doing the best we can. Because you're listening and watching. Mind melt. Melt, see? So. Like a good cheese. So it probably serves you right, you know? Yeah. I mean, what can I say? Well, fuck you. <laughs> Who do you think you fucking are? <laughs> Talk to me like that. <laughs> 